Okay, we're going to look at place value today. Now, what place value tells us is if we have numbers, where those numbers are, tell us what those numbers mean. Okay? So if we just have one digit right here, which is just a six, that means we have six ones. See these six little one cubes? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have any groups of ten over here. So zero. And we have six ones. Okay, because this has one digit. That means it's in the ones place. Now let's look if we have two digits. See right here we have a four digit next to a five. Now we always start with the number to the right hand side. That's what's going to tell us where we are. So right here we start on the right hand side ones place, the ones. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five ones. And five in the ones place. Then the number right next to the ones is the tens. And we have, when we put ten of these ones together, we get a group of ten. One group of ten, two groups of ten, three groups of ten, four groups of ten. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. We have four in our tens place. So this number is forty five. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. We start on the far right side. This is our ones. Next to it is our tens. Look over here at this chart. Start with the ones, then we have our tens. Okay, and we can show our ones by using these little cubes. We can show our tens by our groups of ten cubes that are stuck together. Okay. So tens and ones, tens and ones, tens and ones. Now we're going to look if we have three digits. See, one, two, three digits. Now, we're going to start on the right hand side because we know this is our ones place. Our ones place. And we have a seven. That means we're going to ha we have seven ones. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in our ones place, seven little one cubes. We have a three in our tens place and one, two, three groups of ten. And when we take ten of these groups of ten and stack them up on each other, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them, we have a hundred squares altogether. We basically took a hundred of these little one cubes, put them into groups of ten, then stacked them up to make a group of one hundred. So these squares are a group of one hundred, and there are two of them. So we go ones, tens, hundreds, and we have two of them, two hundreds. So that means we have 100, 200, 200, 10, 20, 30, 30, 230, 231, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 237, 237, 237. And we're going to look at one more now. When we have four digits. Four digits. Start with the ones, three and a three. Next to it's the tens, four and a four. Next to it's the hundreds, two and a two. Then after three digits, we put a comma. Then what comes next? We have the thousands place. One and a one. Let's see what it looks like. Well, when we take these hundred squares and stack ten of them up, that's a thousand. That's the same as taking one thousand of these little one cubes and putting them in neat rows and stacking them all together. There's one thousand of them here. Two hundreds, 
10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. 1,243. 1,200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 3. So again, when we're looking at place value, we start on the right hand side. Opposite if we're reading a sentence. If we're reading a sentence, we start from the left hand side. But when we're looking at numbers, we're trying to figure out place value. We're going to start this right hand side first to see what the place value is. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Then we read it going back. 1,243.